Hey everyone, welcome back to Get to Know a Better Business. I'm your host, Olivia Mancino. Today we're talking to accredited business owner, Kristen Schlomer of Kalia Stone Boutique about women-owned businesses and the legacy of the Better Business Bureau. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're really happy to have you. No, it's my pleasure. Awesome. So, okay, so let's get into it. So first I want to know a little bit about your company. What inspired you to join this business? And tell me a little bit about what you do. Um, I've always been really interested in the interior design part of the world. And I found myself not a great interior designer, but I went more of the material side of things. And I gravitated towards natural stone. So for the last 12 to 15 years, I really invested a lot of time of learning and understanding this side of the industry. And now, fortunately enough, I was able to go off on my own and basically create a new, elevate the experience of the natural stone industry um, in the Midwest and hopefully connect with a lot more of the design world here in Chicago. That's awesome. I saw some of the pictures on your website of the different stones. It's so beautiful. I didn't realize there were so many options. It's insane to think about all the different unique art pieces that actually come from the earth. It's it's unbelievable, to be honest with you. I really feel like I have my own art collection. That's I really it, it's art. It really is. I, it really is. And to think that, you know, you're buying a piece of something that it's very possible. Well, no one ever will have the exact same thing. Um, and I think that comes with a, a great story behind it. And it just creates just a different living environment. So I want to talk a little bit about why you decided to become BBB accredited. Why was that important to you? My, my dad owned a company when I was growing up and to him it was always really important and he was more on the automotive side. And I think at the time it was like people looked for that and it was really important. And when you were um, better business accredited, it just meant something and you were, you were proud of that. Mm -hmm. And then I was saying that I feel like it kind of got lost in translation, at least I didn't hear about it often, but I know from my growing up experience, if someone had this type of accreditation, they were something. They were someone to, that you could count on and they were reputable. And I think that says a lot with a reputation that you're trying to build. We love hearing that, especially the fact that it's like been passed down through generations for you. That's, that's awesome. I mean, we have been around for almost a hundred years, so that makes sense. It just, it says so much with doing so much without doing so much, if that makes any sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so another really cool aspect about your company that I recently learned is you have an all woman team. That's so badass. That's so cool. There's nothing that's better than someone who loves their job, is extremely educated. I feel like they can conquer the world. And if I surround myself with like with the same type of people and the same mentality, then I feel that there's no limitations as far as Kalia could go. So that's kind of how I've built the team here and I'm super proud of everyone that's here. It just worked out that everyone's all female. It's not to say I'm only looking for females, but um, I wouldn't change them for the world to say the least. We do have four warehouse guys now though, so I have to give them credit. Of course, of course. <laughs> we, they couldn't, we couldn't go that far without them. You don't feel afraid to bring up certain ideas maybe sometimes, or everyone feels that it's a safe place to express their opinion or concerns and that you'll be heard. So I think it's, like you said, just it's like a unique camaraderie that doesn't happen everywhere. It's the best, and to be honest, it's so interesting because we're all so different and we all have completely different backgrounds and a lot of us never were even in this industry before. And the fact that they just took a leap of faith and mm -hmm. just totally dove right into this designer world and the remodeling home um, market is just incredible. That's awesome. And to see where things are going now is, it's been interesting. <laughs> so. Yeah, it seems this time like, has been very challenging. I know, but it seems like you're still continuing to grow and, and have yes. major successes, which we love to see. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And I mean, as far as like our partnership with Better Business Bureau, for me, I would love to get more involved. I feel like it's really important if you're gonna join any type of organization, don't just join to get your name in a, in a catalog. It's more like you need to invest time in it and understand it. and 
really see how much each person can play off of each other to help each other learn. It's the importance of having a network for like-minded business owners to, like you said, bounce ideas off each other and collaborate. So we love that. Right. Um, right. So for the homeowners out there, what are some tips you can give them for designing a kitchen? When you're completely, or any surface, I guess, that has countertops, when you're completely overhauling a home, that's a big undertaking. Really understanding where you want to spend your investment. And maybe, I mean, not to say we all don't have a budget. No one wants to talk about it, but most of us do. Right. And it's just really, where do you want to put put your investment in if it's on your countertops and then it's understanding how are you going to use your kitchen what's the best material that would be better for you do you mm-hmm. want something more timeless or something that's right now so and i think that uh, a lot of people also <clears throat> play into the fact of uh, what's good for resale and the question is are you selling today or are you going to sell in 10 years right. do you want to enjoy your kitchen or do you want to <laughs> list it tomorrow and i think that's a lot of misconception too people should really design for themselves versus someone in the next 20 years. Is there anything else you want to mention before we wrap up? No, I think I'm just really excited at this opportunity. Um, Thanks for reaching out, of course. And however, um, myself and my team here at Kalia can ever help you, I'd be more than happy. Great. Thank you so much for talking with us. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. If you're not accredited with us but want to know more about all the awesome things the Better Business Bureau can do for you, visit gettoknowthebbb.org to learn more. Thanks so much for joining us.